Okay, so 4.7 project. This is a major project. Um, and so this is a mandatory project, but this is a super fun, super fun project. And all you need is your dog drawing and a pencil. I have my hunk of graphite here, but you just use a regular pencil and your eraser. That's it. That's all you need to do this project. Now we're going to turn your um, drawing into a ribbon drawing. And so what I'm gonna do first is before I turn this dog into a ribbon drawing, I'm just gonna show you really quickly using a really simple shape, how the whole ribbon um, project works so that you um, have an idea of what you're doing before you tackle this, you know, more complicated, drawing that you did. So I'm just going to draw a cylinder. So a cylinder has an oval top and an oval bottom, and then I'm going to connect the sides, right? So that's, that's good enough, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to erase, let me draw this a little bit darker so you can, you can see it better on my page. It's just a really simple a really simple cylinder. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it into a cylinder that's made of ribbon. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, just draw lines that wrap around it and try to make the lines kind of similar. Whoops, that one's a little bit, a little bit off. So I'm just gonna um, and that's, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it there. Um, that's enough. So um, if you really want to make this look really amazing, you can, um, all right, I'll add. You can make the space between the lines smaller if you want and uh, give yourself a little bit more of a challenge. But for now, I'm just going to leave this like this. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to erase the contour line in between each uh, alternating ribbon. So this is ribbon, 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 this is ribbon. So I'm going to start erasing the contour line from this one here and then this one here so that there's an open, there's an open gap. Let me make this line a little bit darker. All right, so now I'm gonna e skip one and erase the contour line of this ribbon section there. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker so you can, you can see that there's gaps there. And now this is the last one. I'm gonna erase the contour line from that one. And let me just make this a little bit darker so you can see that better. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna, you, we're gonna make the backside ribbon of the cylinder, the backside cylinder ribbon. So all you're gonna do is basically connect the lower ribbon, this one with this one, right? So you're gonna take the bottom point here and you're gonna connect it to the bottom point over here. So you can just imagine, you know, that connecting like that and then the top to the top, right? So the bottom to the bottom and the top to the top. Now I'm gonna erase the lines that I drew on the ribbon so you can only see the top one like that. And then I'm going to do that on this one too. So the top one goes to the top one. And then this is where it gets tricky because you just have to imagine where the bottom one goes. So I'm just going to try to kind of like imitate what I, what I did here. So I'm going to, that top goes there and the bottom one I'm going to have just go off like that and then erase the lines that I made in the middle. And now I'm gonna do that to the top one. So bottom to the bottom one, whoops. 
bottom one to the bottom one and the top one to the top one, right? And then I'm going to erase the lines that overlap inside the ribbon. So I think this one, I'm actually going to have a back to it like this. All right. Yeah, I'm going to just make the lines a little bit darker. Now you can you can kind of just stop there and let it just kind of like be like that. Or you can do kind of what Escher did and put like a lip that shows depth on depth to the ribbons, right? So I can put a little line here that gives it gives each ribbon just a little bit of of complexity. And then you want to do that to the back one too. So it has some depth too. All right, now we can we can talk a little bit about shading, right? So you can put a little bit of shade on the outside of the ribbon, right? So if you're using a pencil, what you can do is whenever you wanna shade with a pencil, you wanna hold the pencil with your finger against the wood so that you're gonna be drawing with the thickness of the pencil instead of instead of drawing with the point instead of shading with the point you're going to shade with the side like this right it's just a much easier it's a much easier way to put down shading so i'm going to hold my finger kind of off off of that for so you can see but if you weren't looking i'd be holding it like this right and then I'm gonna put a little bit of shade also on the other side. So I'm gonna keep the highlight, I'm gonna keep the highlight in the front. And I'm gonna put a little bit of an edge on this guy too. So it looks like there's just a little bit of a thickness to the cylinder. All right, and then in the back as well, we'll have some shade. And I'm just gonna hold my pencil like this so you can see what I'm doing. All right, now let's go and do this. Let's do the same thing to our to our drawings. Okay, so here is my dog. So he's gonna lose a lot of detail, right? But that's gonna be okay. So we're gonna start, we're gonna start with the ears and I'm just gonna make these ribbon lines like this. And then um, you can you can choose to, have the ribbon lines go continue onto the other ear or do the other ear kind of like separately. You see it's a little bit of the paw. And then um, this line would line up here at the tail, here at the tail, here at the tail. So these lines are gonna go through all the parts of your drawing, whether you did the dog or you did something else. Okay, like that. Um, let me see if I can make the lighting a little bit better here so you can see better what I'm doing. 
All right, so I have I have the lines all throughout my dog. So now I'm going to erase the contour line of every other ribbon. So if I want to keep this one, then I erase the contour line of the second one, right? So I'm just going to make that a little bit darker so you can see it. I'm going to keep this one and erase the contour line of the second one. So I'm going to make these a little bit darker so you can see them. All right, so I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to erase everything that's inside. So I drew really dark just because I wanted you to be able to see my drawing because it's hard to see on the camera. But hopefully you didn't draw as dark as I can did and you can erase. You can erase really well. All right, so I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to erase everything in this one. So erasing every other one. This. So keep this one, erase everything in this one. Hopefully you don't love your drawing so much that you don't mind kind of changing it so much. All right, so keep, erase, you see, erase, keep, erase, oops. Should have put those lines back in. Keep, erase. And I'll go in after the video and clean this up a lot. So erase, 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 erase. Okay. So now I'm just going to go in and erase everything that's in sections that are going to be kind of like the back of the dog. So this one I'm going to keep, so I'm just going to make it a little bit darker so you can see it a little bit better. This one I'm going to keep. This one I'm going to erase. And this one up in the tail, I should have erased. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep the tip of the tail, and the se second, the second section, that section. And I'm going to erase this section. You begin to get like an idea of like how organized you have to be in order to pull off, pull off optical art. And the last section down here. All right, I think I just have to erase one section here. Of the foot and now I'm ready to make, I'm ready to make the ribbon in the back. The whole dog is now turned into the ribbon. All right, so all you're gonna do is match up the bottom part of the second ribbon with the bottom part of the first. And then the top with the top, I'm just gonna make a line like that. And now the bottom of the third with the other side, and then going over to the top. So you can see it's starting to kind of like take shape already. Right. All right. So the bottom of this one, I'm going to go all the way up to here. Like that. And then the top is going to go up to this point. So there you go. You might want to put dots beforehand if it gets confusing about where where you're going to um, draw your line to the beginning and the end of your line. All right. So this is the bottom right 
and this is the bottom. So I'm going to connect these two lines, right? And then this is the top, and this is the top of this one. So I'm going to connect those two lines. All right, so this is the bottom of this side to the bottom of this side. So I'm going to connect those two lines. And the top and the top, I'm going to connect those two lines. And you can really see your ribbon dog starting to take shape here. Once you get your shading in, it's really, really going to look good. Now, um, this will get really confusing here. So I'm just going to kind of like just make it kind of go somewhere. OK, so um, then I'm just going to do the by. I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm just going to make the top go up like this. I'm just going to kind of fudge it. going to fudge that part because it's kind of it's kind of silly okay so we have to do this one so the bottom goes up to here right and the top goes up to there all right and then this one the bottom here goes up to the bottom here so a line like that and then this to the top top to the top Right, and then these guys, uh, let's see, here is the bottom on this side. So these um, these can be separate. So I think, I'm because these are separate, so what I'm gonna do is the bottom over here, I'm just gonna bring it up halfway and the top halfway, and then I'm gonna do the same. Um, wait, what did I do? Hold on a second, guys. So this is erased and this one stays. Sorry, I got my, I got my, I got my sections a little confused. This is the back. Now I got to do the back over here, right? So the bottom goes up to here. And then I'm just going to do the top is going to go up to here, the top of this one. So I'm just going to go up like that. And I'm going to leave that for that whole section. Like this, I'm keeping the feet as if they didn't have a break between them. And I'm just going to have it go like that. This is going to be the back side here. Right. And then I have this one left. So here is the bottom. So I'm going to draw the bottom up to here. And here's like a basically the top. So we just draw the top up to there. And then that'll end. That'll end right there. This is kind of like the back. So there are going to be some sections of your dog that are going to be a little on the confusing side, but um, just just don't worry about it. Just do your best, just to kind of like keep keep kind of like the idea going, right? And here is the bottom to the bottom, so it's going to go like this, and then this guy's going to go like this. Yeah, it gets a little wonky in areas depending on your drawing, but. Just kind of do the best that you can. I'm going to just put a little shade on all of the ribbons that are in the back, the back side. Now you can um, spend a lot of time and do a lot of shading and give each one that little lip, that little edge to make it look like it's thick, like Escherich did. Or you can just do some light shading like I'm doing here and be done. It's up to you. I'm going to add a lot more shading and try to make this thing look really three-dimensional just because it's so fun. It's kind of just like a fun thing to do. Um, and then I will post, I will post my end result for you. 
and um and we'll take a, a look at them we'll take a look at them next week all right guys good luck this is a little complicated but it's super fun and super worth it all right let me know if you have any questions <laughs>